Hello and welcome to this short video on how to set up your camera app so you can interact with your button by sight. <clears throat> and for example, using when you want to use your cardboard or the uh, Gear VR or um, the Daydream, for example, if you don't use the controller. So we have a very, e a very nice solution for that. The core of VR Easy is uh, are actually the VR selector types. In this case, where, because we're going to use the side selectors and the com this component is, you can select from our menu, VR selector, then we'll give you this menu. We have three types of selector types, side, pointer, and touch. We'll go through the other ones in other videos, but in this case, we will select the side because we want to interact with the button that I just really created fast and so we can play around with it and then we need to s uh, set the selector type mainly the usually the camera that you want to interact with your buttons so in this case we select a drag and drop our camera and then after that select add selector and then we have a couple of options we have the activation time um, how long it will take to activate the button then the we added a new option, the tooltip, that you want to appear next to your objects. Then we can set the font, the size, the color, the position of from the dis the, the from your eye. Then the selection distance. This is important. For example, how big your environment is and where your buttons are placed. So if your buttons are placed very far let's say 20, 25 meters and you still want to interact where you're standing without having to walk over there, you set your size, the selection distance based on your uh, the, the actual uh, size. Then we, if whether you want to use a crosshair, yes or no, some people find it easy to use a crosshair so you, you know where you're looking, some not. So we have this option to whether you want to use it, yes or no. And we have two types um, of course has a single sprite or a dual sprite. Dual sprite, as I said, you can select two sprites where you have your idle and the active sprite that it will blend in between them. And in this case, we're going to use a single sprite. We have already delivered, we already have some icons that you can use. For example, this crosshair. And then you see directly in our screen that the crosshair appears. And a new game object is linked to your main camera with the crosshair. Here we can set the crosshair size, depending of what it's convenient for you, then the colors, the active color and the idle color. And actually that's it. From there, if you go select your camera and you can see all the settings that you just did over here as well, we just hit the play select that camera, in this case, just to test purposes. If, if, as you see, it is white, the idle, and we selected one. And if I just rotate and hover over my button, you see that I see my tooltip right now. And then the uh, colors, it changes to red that we just set. And this way, and if you set your VR button to do something, as you can see, uh, see how we set up that in different tutorials. You can then build your whole um, VR environment very easy and interact with, uh, with just two or three clicks, actually. Hope this helps, and if not, just put your comments below or use our blog to, to send us a, a question so we can uh, help you out. Thank you very much.